Today we're going to answer some probability questions in a standard normal distribution. Now in this word problem, the average height of the students in Barstow High School from a normally distributed population is 67 inches with a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. And we're going to answer three questions from our given mean and standard deviation in this particular problem. So the first problem that we're going to solve is finding the probability that a student is shorter than 60 inches. Letter B, we're going to answer the probability that a student is exactly 73 inches tall. And for letter C, we're going to find the probability of a student whose height is between 61 inches and 71 inches. So let's answer our first probability question of finding the proportion or probability that a student is shorter than 60 inches. So for problem or for the first problem, we know that the distribution is normally distributed with a mean of 67 and a standard deviation of 2.5. So you need to remember that this particular notation is what we use in statistic in denoting that we are given the mean and the standard deviation of a normally distributed distribution. So we can now use our formula in finding the uh, probability of a student being shorter than 60 inches in Barstow High School. So this is our notation that we're going to solve. We're going to find the probability that x is less than 60. And to be able to use our normal distribution, we need to standardize our score from 60 to our z-score value. So to use the z-score value, we need the z-formula, which is x minus mean all over the standard deviation. And by direct substitution, we have 60 minus 67 all over 2.5, which gives us negative 2.8 as our z-score. And our z-score of negative 2.8, as illustrated in a standard normal distribution, wherein the mean is at the center, which is equal to 0, and the standard deviation of 1, this will be our value of z60, which is negative 2.8. So this is the location of our z-score, and the area under the curve is being determined by our word problem, because we're looking for the probability that a student is shorter than 60 inches, so we're shading our region to the left. So this is our area under the curve that we're going to find using our TI-84. And by using the TI-84, we can answer the probability question of finding the student or the probability or proportion of students who's shorter than 60 in inches. So our function in our cal calculator that we're going to use is normal CDF with a syntax of minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation. And by just looking at the uh, illustration, so this is a very useful um, step in uh, answering or plugging in the correct values in our calculator because it tells us that the minimum value inside the area under the curve is the negative infinity and the maximum value will be our z-score of negative 2.8. So this is really going to help you in plugging in the correct values in your calculator. So negative 1e99 is negative infinity in our TI-84 with a maximum value of negative 2.8 with a mean of 0 and the standard deviation of 1. So remember, every time we are standardizing our score, the mean and standard deviation is no longer the original mean and standard deviation that's given in the problem. We are using the standard value of the mean and standard deviation, which is 0 and 1. And by plugging it into our calculator, it will give us the value of 0 0.0025. So therefore, to answer the probability question, the probability that a Bar Barstow High School student is shorter than 60 inches is 0.25%, which is really small because it's not even 1%. Because if you can see the mean height of this particular distribution is 67 inches with a standard deviation of 2.5. So less than 1% of that is going to be shorter than 60 inches. Now to answer letter B, our question for letter B is to find the probability that a, stu a student is exactly 73 inches tall. So our probability notation will be P of X equal to 73, just like what we did on 
problem letter A, we're going to standardize our 73 inches, which is our raw value, into the standardized value of our z-score, which gives us 2.4. So this is our z-score, which we're going to illustrate in our standard normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So with a z equal to 2.4, we're looking for the exact probability. So you will notice that I don't have any shaded region in my illustration because I'm finding out what exactly is the probability that a student will be 73 inches tall. So using your calculator, instead of using normal CDF, we are now using normal PDF, which is the first um, option in our calculator function in TI-84. So normal PDF, and the syntax is the Z-score, the mean and the standard deviation. So that's the difference between the syntax that we're using in letter A and letter B, which is an exact probability. So once again, it is your z-score value, your mean, and your standard deviation. And when you hit enter, the value that, we're, that will or the TI-84 value that you will see will be 0 0.0089. So this is the value being generated by TI-84 in finding the exact probability of uh, this particular question using the standard normal distribution. So the probability that a Barcelona High School student is 73 inches tall is 0.89%. So it's slightly higher than the probability of letter A, but it's still less than 1%. So this is how we answer question letter A and question letter B using our TI-84 and illustrating it with our steps right here. So let's answer the last problem of uh, our word problem a while ago, which is finding the probability that a student's height is between 61 inches and 71 inches. So this is our normal distribution. We have the mean of 67 and the standard deviation of 2.5. And we're going to answer problem letter C, which is finding the probability that a student height is between 61 inches and 71 inches. So to answer this problem, since we are given two values, we're going to find the z-score of each of this raw value, which is z-score of 61 and z-score of 71. So the z-score of 61 is negative 2.4 and z-score of 71 inches will be 1.6. And using our illustration, this is the location of our z-score of negative 2.4 and the z-score of positive 1.6. So you will see that all the negative values is always located on the left-hand side of our normal distribution and all the positive z-score values will be listed or located in our right-hand side. So this is now our illustration, and we're looking for the probability that a student is in between these two height values. So the area under the curve that we are going to compute using our TI-84 is this particular region in our standard normal distribution. So using our calculator, we are using normal CDF instead of normal PDF because now we're looking at the area under the curve. So the normal CDF function will be minimum, maximum, mean, and the standard deviation. So the minimum value is negative 2.4 and the maximum value is positive 1.6 with a standard deviation of zero, I mean mean of zero and standard deviation of one, which gives us 0.93. Seven zero. So our probability or area under the curve in between these two z-scores is 0 0.9370, which will help us answer our probability question of a student or a student height being between 61 inches and 71 inches. So therefore, from our calculator, the probability of a Barso High School student whose height is in between 61 inches and 71 inches is 93.70%. And that is how we answer probability question in a standard normal distribution using TI-84.